Hello and welcome everybody to my video log. Day 5, creating a game with Godot. Yeah, we already finished the first week, so this is day 5. And uh, yeah, I will talk a bit about the stuff we achieved this week and especially today. So, as I wanted to, I finally got more into the code stuff and today I was able to restructure my code in a way I wanted to do that and uh, yeah, I wrote a lot of GD scripts. I will show you in a minute. Also, I redesigned the landscape and uh, throw out some of the random generated stuff because for the first demo we just wanted to have one easy landscape to work with. Yeah, and I wanted to focus more on the important stuff to achieve for the prototype instead of, of messing with a random creation of environment. This can be also be done later, so yeah, I readjust the focus a bit. I also started to work on the invention tab. Yeah, this is the scene. As you can see, we have now a fixed position of trees and I just choose of two variations of the trees and just place them on the landscape and make everything a bit better looking just for work now. So on the gaming scene I just increased the size a bit so you can see it in full HD. Um, yeah, this is just a prototype of the UI. As I said, I just started with it and it's not finished yet. So this is just a placeholder. We have the landscape here, the house is automatically placed on the start position. Yeah, and all the UI stuff you can see now because it's in the lower right left corner also working as before. But uh, it, the, the code changed a lot for that. So let us go through this one. Yeah, so as I said, this is the landscape and I just uh, added a position, which is the 3D position model here, this one. And with that, I just create a spawning point for our building. Yeah, I can show you the code for that. So that's basically the function for it. I place the main building, I get a, the, the instance of the building and then afterwards I just set the transform origin to the position of the yeah, position object and I add it to the scene. So we get that automatically done. So as I said, I created a lot more of scripts and uh, yeah, it's all located here in my server document. So I have the server scene now, which is handling all the processing stuff in the background and uh, yeah, creating all the different sectors we will have later also knows which is the current sector we are in. Um, then I have created a population object, which is that one. This one is doing all the population stuff. So it's counting the human per sector. It's counting how much people we have in the invention tab or how much are just idling. Yeah, and this is uh, the script for that. And I also have a sector script, which also combines the population with the scene loading. And for later, I also added the epoch, which will be the tech tree. And we have here access on the GUI. As you can see, I uh, connect a lot of signals here in this stuff. So if we set a scene to the sector, we actually get a visual. And then we have to connect all our signals so the GUI can be updated on signals, which are called here in the backend process. Problems today. Yeah, as always, the interface uh, designing and coding is uh, yeah, my worst part, my worst enemy, I would say. So I still have to get used to the interface stuff in Godot. And I already tried to place some of the, yeah, of the windows and the tab container and stuff like that. I experimented today a lot, but uh, yeah, I haven't found the right way to make it work uh, in the right resolution. Also, if we change the, the screen sizes, it should arrange themselves and resize itself and all kind of that is yeah a bit of a black box to me for now what's coming next so yeah for today uh, i'm nearly finished so i maybe will invest some more time to get used to the ui but then we finally have weekend yay <laughs> and i will do a weekend so uh, there won't be a video log for the next two days i will be back on monday then and for monday i want to work on the ui stuff and uh, get it working that I have at least some placeholder which resized in the, in the right sizes and uh, yeah, you can work with and we have some controls also that afterwards it goes straight into the tech tree and yeah of course we want to have the first scene up the first prototype and first prototype we need the UI is working and I also need to implement the people we can send out on the battlefield and they should also work around as you can see, is also Thomas working on the animations for that. So maybe we can work next week on the animations and get some people throwing at each other or already fighting to each other. 
So this will be the schedule for at least next week. I will be back on Monday. As usual, if you have any feedback, questions, leave them below the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos. Have a nice weekend. Bye.